Hi, it's Sue Ellen here from the Kickstart Business. As a small business owner, I like to spend some time at the end of each year reflecting on my key lessons and learnings for the year. I then use this information to feed into my planning for the next year. So I thought that I'd record this short video for you with a highlight, uh, with my highlights and lessons for 2011. So let's kick off with the highlights. First of all, I made my radio debut early in the year with a slot on community radio show 99.3 FM with the lovely Nikki Springett. I stepped in for Faye Hollands from Outshine Consulting who was on maternity leave with her very first baby and she had a baby girl, Charlie. I gave a presentation on social media at the Australian Image Consultants Association. It was really confidence building to share my knowledge with others and to see how excited they were to apply it to their own business. I created new online coaching programs for my personal development business, transformme.com.au. This is a form of income that does not depend on me trading hours for fees and that was something that I really wanted to work on this year. I won't say it's completely passive because it took work to develop and I'll need to keep it refreshed, but it's certainly a step in the right direction. I also wrote and published my first ebook, How to Start a Business, and I now have a valuable product I offer my subscribers. I launched a new business, this one, the Kickstart Business, and developed three online marketing packages, the Shoestring, Savvy and Showstopper, at different price points to help you grow your business online faster. I attended a fantastic three-day internet marketing event run by James Schramko called Fast Web Formula 3. And I even managed to be one of 10 finalists in a video challenge from over 200 people. I thought that was pretty good considering I didn't even know how to make a video a year ago. I joined a supportive and inspiring networking group the table of fabulousness we're called. Uh, the members are small business owners, mostly mums, and we meet monthly for a working home boardroom lunch over the kitchen table. Having a trusted network I found is invaluable. So 2011 also provided some hard earned lessons for me. First, as a small business owner, it's impossible to do everything. Focus and simplicity is key. Chasing the next bright, shiny object is not. <laughs> to minimize temptation, I've unsubscribed from all but a few of my most valued lists. And I'd really encourage you to do the same. It takes a lot of hard work and effort to build an online business. And I found the key to doing business online, funnily enough, is getting offline and talking to people in real life. At some point, you need to stop learning and start implementing. If you don't build it and ship it, you won't earn a single dollar. One of the best books I read in 2011 was Do the Work by Stephen Pressfield, which is all about this, and I highly recommend it if uh, you're stuck in that cycle of learning and not producing. Health, family and friends are super important. You never know how long you have. Live your life to the full and die empty. And I'd like to dedicate this one to the loving memory of Carolyn McCormack, who we lost in 2011. It's not possible to run a business on passion alone. I can't stand that word passion. I think it's so overused. Just because you're passionate about something doesn't mean there's a market for it. Once you know there is a market for your product or service with paying customers, then of course it helps a lot to be passionate about your business. Fail forward. As a high achiever and a perfectionist, I hate to fail, but I'm learning that failing helps us move forward when we learn the lessons and do things differently next time. And you may recognize this from a if you're a Star Wars fan particularly, named must your fear be before banish it, you can. The internet and social media are constantly changing and it can be hard to keep up. Make use of experts to keep up to date, but most importantly, 
provide products and services that help people solve problems and share quality content using multiple channels. Following on from the Yoda theme, I'd like to finish up with this, which I'll be taking into 2012. Do or do not. There is no try. All in all, 2011 has been a year of growth and learning. I've met some amazing new people, tapped into great networks, and I can't wait for 2012 to help aspiring entrepreneurs and business owners to grow profitably through online strategies. Thank you all for being part of my community, and especially to everyone who took time to comment on my blog and provide support and throughout the year. You make it all worthwhile. I hope you find some time to reflect, rest and enjoy time with loved ones over the holiday. One final request from me, I'd love to hear your highlights and lessons for 2011 so please leave a comment below the video and I'd like to wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <music>